In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to write a book in five steps and in less than three hours. Hey, I'm Natalia from NataliaRay.com and one of the clients that I work with is pretty big in the Kindle publishing space. What he does is he uses those books in order to bring people into his funnel, builds a customer list and then monetizes that customer list on the back end using email marketing. Now, ever since ChatGPT became a reality, his business exploded even more because now instead of hiring, let's say 10 ghostwriters or 10 10 freelancers in order to write 10 different nonfiction books, he can just hire one freelancer in order to write 10 nonfiction books because now he can use ChatGPT and I'm going to show you exactly how he does it. In this video, I'm going to share with you one of the coolest things I learned from this client, in particular, his five-step process for writing a book using ChatGPT. Let's begin. So step number one is to simply ask ChatGPT to come up with a bunch of ideas for books about a certain topic that you're interested in. For example, I'm asking it to list five book ideas about keto diet for young men between the ages of 17 to 25 who are looking to get lean and put on muscle. Let's hit enter and see what it has to say. And already ChatGPT spat out a bunch of book ideas, including the title. So for example, The Keto Diet for Young Men, A Beginner's Guide to Building Lean Muscle and Achieving Optimal Health, or another idea, Keto for Athletes. I really like this one. The Ultimate Guide to Performance and Muscle Gain on the Low Carb, High Fat Diet. I'm actually gonna take this topic and use that for our example. Then step number two is to simply ask ChatGPT to write a possible outline for your book. That outline has to include an introduction, the body of the book, and then the conclusion. And let me show you how I do it. I will simply ask, uh, write me an outline for a 150 page book on the topic of, and here I put the topic that I just grabbed from the ChatGPT idea list. I'm gonna hit enter. Now it only took a few seconds and already you can see the ChatGPT created kind of like a badass outline for me. Let me show you what he did. First he started with an introduction and then he listed exactly what to put in the introduction, an overview of the keto diet, benefits for athletes and thesis statement. Then chapter two will be about understanding the keto diet, what is keto diet, how the keto diet works, etc., etc. Then we're going to preparing for the keto diet, how to prepare for the transition, then performance on the keto diet, because remember this book is specific for athletes etc etc as you can see it's a pretty good book that has everything that I need in order to create a, not only a bestseller but a book that will actually provide a ton of value for my customers because my goal is not only to sell this book but I want to build a customer list of people who got a lot of value from my book so that they will be happy to buy and purchase additional things that I will offer them in the future step number three is to write the first chapter of your book using ChatGPT, and the way you're going to do that is by simply asking ChatGPT a series of questions according to your chapter's framework. And here's what I mean, and here's exactly how my client does this. So the first thing he does is he becomes super, super clear on the framework for every single chapter in his book. And here's what I mean by framework. So your book will have an outline. Yes, that's the list of chapters that you have. But for every single one of those chapters, you want a very specific template or a very specific flow. We call this framework on which you follow every single chapter, right? And that particular framework has to be super, super optimized for the best experience possible for your readers right? The framework that my client uses is a very, very simple six-step framework that works like this. First, he starts every single chapter with a hook. And a hook is kind of like a controversial saying or a specific line or a paragraph that it's aimed to grab your reader's attention. Then number two is he makes a promise. Here's the result or here's the benefit you're going to get by reading this chapter. The reason why we're doing this is we want to encourage people to read until the end. And the best way to do that is by promising them that by the end of this chapter, you will be able to X, achieve something they want. Then the third step in his framework is he tells a story. And the point of the story is to, first of all, create connection with the reader, but also to build up the value of the strategy that's about to come in the next step. Generally speaking, if you're just going to give somebody a strategy, the chances of this making an impression on them is really, really low. But if you're going to provide some kind of a story around this, then the expectation and the value raises that 
that much higher. And an example for this is what I did in this video. Instead of just sharing a five-step process for writing a book using ChatGPT, I told you the story about my client and now he has this big business because then you will understand the power of what I'm about to share with you and you're not just gonna take it for granted, cool? Now the fourth step in this particular framework that we're building for each and every chapter is the actual strategy. That's the how-to that are going to achieve the result you promised them in this specific chapter. Then the fifth step in this framework is to share the tactics, right? The strategy is kind of like the big idea, the big how-to. The tactics are the specific things that you share inside your book, the tips, the routines, the warnings, all of those specific things that you add into your book in order to make it super, super practical. Now, the last part of the framework for each and every chapter that my client uses is he adds social proof. That's essentially stories of other people and how they use the things that he shares with the readers in the book in order to achieve similar goals to what the people of the book have, right? Now, instead of putting all of the social proof in one bulk at the end of his chapter, which could be a little bit boring, what he likes to do is to sprinkle it out throughout the book in order to prove specific points, right? So if he shares a specific strategy on step number four of the framework, then he will immediately share a result or social proof or a story of someone who used this strategy successfully. Now, step number four is to simply go and do this for every single chapter in your book. Simply follow the outline that ChatGPT gave you and do the exact process that we moved over in step number three for every single chapter until you're done. Now, the fifth and last step of writing a book using ChatGPT is to simply add the copy and you guessed it, we're going to be doing this using ChatGPT. So in this step, you're going to be going through every single paragraph and every single page in your book and simply editing it for simplicity and for clarity using simple prompts. Like for example, rewrite the following paragraph in a simple language and then just put the paragraph below or make this paragraph shorter and no more than a hundred words and then put the paragraph below, etc., etc. Go through the entire book until you're done. Now, if you want, I have two additional bonus steps for you here to truly complete your book and make sure that it's available for selling. So step number six, it's time to design your book. And there are two different areas in your book that require design. The first area of your book that requires design is the layout, the text of your book, right? Because essentially what happens is that if you're going to upload your book by, by simply having all of the text inside with like a bulk text, like you see any other article online, most chances are that it will feel daunting for people to read. So instead what we do is we hire layout designers and the way that you want to do this is go to a website called fiverr.com, hover over graphic and design and go to book design, click on it, and you will see a bunch of different freelancers that create book layout design. For example, here's a PDF designer. As you can see, it edited the PDF and it created a bunch of different things to make it look really, really nice. And they can do the same for your book. Now, the second aspect of design that your book needs is the cover, right? The cover is, in fact, except the title, the next most important part of your book. And again, simply go to Fiverr to the exact same place book design and in here you have a bunch of different people that create cover designs for books simply pay whatever they're charging as you can see there are people here that charge as little as five dollars for a cover and you have this part done and the last step of your book is to put it up for sale and you can either simply put it in amazon for sale for this you will need to simply transform your book into a kindle version or you can simply create a sales page and sell your book individually outside of Amazon. I will leave the choice up to you. If you wanna learn more about exactly how do I like to sell books and how do I create sales pages for books, simply hit me in the comments below and I will make a video about that. If you're looking to support this channel, please hit the like button and hit subscribe because it helps me get the word out about this video. And apart from that, I hope it was clear exactly how to use ChatGPT to write a book. I'm gonna see you in the next video until then, yalla bye.